Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayek Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. And Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And as the people of God, we never get tired of saying that. Hallelujah. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And what a joy and privilege it is to be chosen by him to serve in his kingdom. Well, friends, I trust this finds you feeling blessed and happy in Jesus today. Now, today is September the 7th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, before we jump into our topic this morning, have you been watching the John MacArthur question and answers? I hope you have. I have begun them, and I can tell you, friends, I am being blessed for doing so, and I trust that you are as well. Well, our text this morning is going to come from Revelation chapter 17, and we want to look at verse 15. Now, I'm going to read it in its entirety, but I want to read this part first. Blessed, happy is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. Now, the entire verse. Behold, I, Jesus, come as a thief. When you least expect me, that's when I'm coming. Blessed is he that watches and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Friends, we don't want to be found shameful in the sight of others or in the sight of our Lord. And so how are we to be found confident before him? Look at the verse again. Blessed is he that watches and keeps his garments, keeps his garments spotless, clean, unwrinkled. Friends, your garments represent your life. Are you keeping your life unwrinkled, unspotted, untainted from the world? You see, the world is like dog hairs to clothing. No matter how much you try to keep that hair off of you, when you look down, it's all over you. Well, that would be a spotted garment, friend. We have to be very careful, very alert. As our text says, very watchful to keep ourselves unspotted from the world, to keep our garments clean. And so to use our example, many times when we are in this world, we spend more time picking the hair of the world off of our clothing as opposed to locking the dog outside or the world outside. You see, in the world, sometimes we can't help but the world to get on us. And no matter how much we try to keep the world off of us, like those dog hairs on our clothing, we find that they're everywhere. And so we're constantly busy removing these things from our clothing. And that's what I want to encourage you to do today, friends. Be aware of the spots that are upon you. And one by one, begin to pick them away. That's what the Bible means when it says, be in the world, but not of the world. And so what in your life today represents those dog hairs? Could it be your music? Could it be your movies? Could it be your habits? Could it be the way you spend your time, the way you spend your money? Could it be the things that you think or the things that you say, an attitude or a character or a feeling that you may have? You see, friends, if you want to be happy in Jesus, and that's what blessed means, happy, if you want to be happy in Jesus, as our text says, happy is he that watches and keeps his garments unspotted from the world, we could put in quotations. And we know that because of James 1.27, which says, Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction. But it doesn't stop there. And to keep himself unspotted from the world. That is our daily duty, friends. When we arise each morning, that's our goal in life. That is where all of our attention, all of our effort, all of our focus is to be, to remain unspotted from the world, to remain watchful and to keep our garments. I trust that you will do so today, friend. The Lord is counting on it. Now, as he wills, 
And until next time, I love you. And I'll see you on the next video.